two x minus. Where do I put the five? Parentheses. Oh, I still need parentheses, and then where? Five on the corner, right here. So it's on that entire expression. That's all being raised to the fifth power. Minus log base two of x. Can I combine the rest of this? Yep. I got subtraction. That's great. I've got the same exact base here. Mm -hmm. That means this is a product or a quotient. 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 That's going to be one single log or two dip two logs. One log. Two x minus one to the fifth. I'm not changing that at all. Over x. That's it. That's as far as you can go. You're, you're definitely not going to want to distribute that, right? Mm -hmm. You don't want to. That'd be horrible. Really, really nasty. Let's try one more. I'll give you a couple to do on your own. We'll talk about expansion, and that'll be done. Do I have any exponents to deal with in this problem? No. Well, it's kind of nice. I, I don't have that that little deal that I got to do. That's, that's not bad. What can I do? Combine the <clears throat> one first, and then. Sure. The addition one gets combined as what? So the first two, I could do log base eleven of eight times three. All over 2, great, because now I have log base 11, log base 11, they're being subtracted. Log base 11 of 8 times 3 over 2. Of course, could you do the math on that? Sure, you're going to get, what, 12? Mm -hmm. You're going to get 12 out of that. Log base 11 of 12. You can show that if you'd like. This is combining. Why don't you try a couple of these on your own? Let's do 2 log base 5 of 4 plus 5 log base 5 of 2. Combine that for me. And then combine this one. Okay, first one. First thing we got to deal with is any numbers in front of our logarithm because those things are exponents. You cannot combine logs if there are numbers in front of your logs. You can't do it. So here we have to do first log base 5 of 4 squared plus log base 5 of 2 to the fifth. Raise your hand if you made it that far. Good deal. You did that first? Mm -hmm. Now we have a log plus a log with the same base. We can also combine that by multiplication. That will be log base 5 of 4 squared times 2 to the fifth. Log base 5 of 4 squared times 2 to the 5th. On your paper, you can actually do the work and get, um, what is that, 16 times 32, whatever that happens to be on your paper. Okay, so far? Okay, next up, what about the 1 half? Is that still an exponent? Mm -hmm. Square root. Yeah, that's actually a square root. You could change it to a square root if you wanted to. You see, when you move that as your exponent, you'll have log base 8 of x to the one half. Those fractions can still move up as exponents. Is there anything else we can we can do on that? Sure. Is it going to be a product or a quotient? So we should have one logarithm 
What's going to be on the top of our logarithms? Sure, x to the one half, or you could write square root of x, that's fine, because x to the one half is the square root of x. Just like that. So either the one half right there, or if you want to be fancy about it, let's say, hey, look. Now it looks cooler. You can do that too, because that one half power is a square root. Raise your hand if you're okay with these combining of logarithms. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is expanding logarithms. You also need to go backwards. Be able to take these things and make them into those. Be able to take this and make it look like that. Expand it as much as possible. Let's practice that here. Do you see some things that we can expand? Do you see some things that we can expand? Can you expand a quotient? Work from the outside in. Okay, work from the outside in. So the first thing I'm seeing here is a, a quotient. So I know that this is going to be log base 7 of 6 times 2. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be over log base 7 minus of 5, 5 or minus? Minus log base 7 of log base 7. Very good. That's how you put it together, right? That's how we did that, that example right over there. We put it together as log base 7 of 6 times 2 over 5, so that's how we split up by that subtraction. Are you guys okay with that so far? Now, is there anything else we can do? Yeah, so that's 6 times 2. You definitely can do that. So all in all, this is going to be log base 7 of 6. What now? Plus log base 7 of 2. That's as far as you could go. You are right with that? Mm -hmm. Now at this point, you'd be checking for any exponents you can move forward. Notice that you don't move exponents forward until you get down to this step. Expand all your product rule, your quotient rule, and then your exponents. You're going backwards of combining. The first thing you did here was exponents, right? It means the last thing you're going to do over here is exponents. So we're kind of working from the outside in. Uh, first things first, could you move your exponents forward? Is that appropriate to do at this particular step? Not until it looks exactly like those properties I gave you, and it doesn't look like that right now. Right now, it looks just like a quotient. So the first thing you'd have to do here is break up that quotient. That's log base 3 of x to the fourth minus log base 3 of y to the third. That's the first thing you have to do, work from the outside in. Now, each one looks like a one of those power properties. Now it looks okay. Now we move our exponents to the front. We'll get 4 log base 3 of x minus 3 log base 3 of y. I should give these a try. Very, very similar. Try that one and this one. Okay, we're running out of time here, so I gotta just do these for you. Log base 5 of 4 times 3 over 7, you split up your subtraction first, then you split up your addition. This answer is log base 5 of 4 
plus log base 5 of 3 minus log base 5 of 7. Did you get that one as well? Yep. Okay. Next one, uh, we first have to split up our subtraction and then move our exponents forward. This is going to be 2 log base 4 of A minus 1 fourth log base 4 of B. And that's as far as you can go on those ones. How many people got those, those two? Okay, last thing that's going to really help you out in your homework. This is it. I know what, we're about a minute over right now. Uh, let's suppose that you only know two logarithms in the world. These are it. What the idea of these problems is, is if you don't know the base, you have to know what these, these, these values equal. So it's given that to you. The idea is write these as some combination of those logarithms. For instance, 28 is 4 times 7. Do you get me? Why am I thinking 4 times 7, not 12 times 2? Well, all I know is 4 and 7. So this would be log base b of 4 times 7. True? That's 28. You can split up that multiplication now. This is log base b of 4 plus log base b of 7. And then you can substitute those numbers in. Are you with me on that? Yes, no? And then add those. Same thing for this one. This is log base b of 7 squared. Write 49 and 7 squared. Write them as one of these things. That's an exponent. It can move to the front. 2 log base b of 7, or that would be 2 times 1.21. Last one, log base b of 4 to the 1 third. That's an exponent. It can move to the front. 1 third log base b of 4. Log base b of 4 is 0.87. That's the idea. So when you get down to the last few problems, try to write whatever these are as the two logarithms that are given to you, some combination of those. Then use the expansion properties to write them until you get them into an individual form and then substitute in those values.